G'day from Australia. It's uh, VA7, BIX, stroke uh, VK3. Just arrived, still a bit jet lagged. Uh, arrived yesterday morning and uh, lost my bags. So literally had to go out to the airport today and Qantas had very kindly put it aside. And uh, my, of course my radio was checked and uh, the tuner and all the other gear. But anyway, it arrived safely. And uh, just getting prepared here. I went out to the, the local battery store, battery specialty store here in Australia. It's called J-Car. Really good. Uh, bought myself an 18, 18 amp hour uh, lithium battery and brought all the leads and uh, bought the charger and the battery here. And I'll probably leave it for my sister who's hopefully going to become a ham herself. But uh, as I'll be coming down here regularly, um, it'll be here when I come back. So anyway, I'm just going to do a quick uh, once over of what I've got here and, and uh, preparing for tomorrow. Um, I'm planning to go to uh, Churchill National Park uh, out of Melbourne and want to be there for Zulu 00. So that's night shift on Friday night uh, in, in North America. So hopefully can do a POTR activation back to, uh, back to the US and Canada and maybe some European stations, maybe some VKs. So who knows? Anyway, um, let's get, uh, let's get this stuff sorted out and um, I want to show you a couple of tricks that I learned from a buddy, um, uh, Mike, burnabyradio.com. Mike from Burnaby Radio, he's the best guy there is and a really knowledgeable guy. Um, he tells me what I should be doing with this and that and what sort of antennas and he supplied me with a dummy load and he gave me this really cool trick that uh, it's a way to test your leads before you get out in the field and realize you've got a short. So let's, uh, let's get it sorted, here we go. Okay, so there's the uh, so there's the battery that I bought, and uh, I just hooked up that little picky tail into the uh, into the the Anderson poles which I brought, and then that's just going of course into the radio. And there's a dummy load just to make sure we've got power out. There's my coaxes. There's the boomerang. Got a bunch of string. Here is the in here is the manual MFJ tuner, which will come in handy so I can band skip. Um, so I can use probably a resonant uh, 20 meter antenna for 17, 15, 12 and 10. And there are the boxes. Pretty cool uh, battery. And it's just charging now. Well, it's actually not charging. I just wanted to quickly do this demo uh, because this is only a, it's only a 0.8 uh, amp hour uh, or 0.8 amp uh, charger. So it's pretty slow. So it might take a few hours. But the main thing is it's running the radio. And let's do a quick test to see if we've got if the airlines treated my radio well. So I'm running at uh, 20 watts, 25 watts, I should say. SWR is one, so that's good. And there's your, your power out, 25, so that's good. So the radio is in perfect condition, so that's great. All the buttons are still on there. What I did is I put it in a suitcase, uh, wrapped it up in a couple of uh, big jumpers, or as we call them here in Australia, or sweaters and just right in the middle of the suitcase. I just couldn't be bothered dealing with uh, customs and immigration and you know the x-ray machines, what's this radio, blah, blah, blah. So I just felt like I'd you know, put it in the luggage. And uh, so there we go. So we know that the radio is working fine. So let's, um, I'm just gonna put this phone down in a sec, but let's check these leads before we get out in the field. And I'll show you this little trick. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is try this uh, 25 foot length of coax. Let's just turn the volume down at that for a sec. So what you do, simple, you get your dummy load. Best thing you can ever have. These dummy loads are amazing. So what you do is you plug your coax in. We know that the SWR is one to one with the dummy load, right? So what we're hoping to, to recreate or do and check is at the end of the coax is uh, the coaxial cable, the uh, SWR is one to one. So I'm gonna put that into there. And at the end of this, which is here, I'm gonna find my trusty little bag of tricks here. I'm gonna find a barrel. And here is the barrel. Perfect, there's a barrel right there. We put this into, into here. Screw that in nice and tight. And then we put the dummy load in the end here. Thanks, Mike. Burnaby Radio, the greatest guy there is. 
Mr. Knowledge is the ICOM dealer for Canada, or one of the ICOM dealers in Canada, in British Columbia, and uh, I buy all my stuff from Mike. He's terrific. There we go. So that's let's check the SWR. And if we have an SWR of one, we do. Look at that. SWR of one. Yay! So we know that that lead is good. All right? So that's the, te that's the test. And if, if that SDR, SWR is all skewed, then you know you've got a short in your lead. So that's the trick. So now what I'm going to do is just quickly do it to all the jumper cables. And then I'm going to probably put everything away, go and crack a beer, and uh, let this battery charge. And I'm hoping to get out. I'd like to be set up and on the air, or well, listening by about uh, 4.30 Pacific time, which is 9.30 a.m. here, just to see what the bands are like, and get ready for night shift. Woohoo! Night shift Friday night. Hopefully I can get some guys back in North America. I know Charlie, Whiskey 7, Romeo, Tango, Alpha is going to be on. And Bill, uh, VE7, AJK, up in uh, Vancouver Island, up the road fr from me. And Greg and Jimmy, I'm sure, in uh, the Bay Area will be on. All right, so there we go. We're plugged in. SWR1. So we know that that jumper cable is good. And that's it. All right, I'm going to check this. This is my secondary backup coaxial lead. So if something happens to the other one, I've got this. I'd highly recommend you have two of everything. I've, take, I've checked both those jumper cables, they're all good. And I'm gonna quickly check this one, and then I'm gonna put everything away, and we're done. Here we go, so, dummy load, into the end. You wanna make sure you turn the power down. So this thing's only probably got rating for 20, 25, maybe 30 watts. I wouldn't wanna be running 100 through it. <laughs> You need a big fan and all that stuff. So here we go, let's try it. SWR1, look at that. So we're good, we're good to go. So we don't have a, a faulty lead. And that is it. So folks, thanks for uh, thanks for watching us. Do you wanna do, do a quick video on just preparation for tomorrow? And the other thing I've got is here in Australia, a lot of the VKs, they work on 40 meters. So while I was at JCAR, um, I've got my I've got my resonant 20 meter boomerang, um, which I'll use for 20, 17, 15, 12, 10 maybe, with the tuner, plug the tuner straight in, but then I've also got 35, 36 feet of speaker wire, which I just bought. So I'm just gonna split this and just do a boomerang for that and um, cut it roughly to size and then I'd use the tuner. Or if I have the time and I can get it high enough, I'll try to make it resonant for 40. But anyway, hope to see you on the air tomorrow. Cheers and beers from VA7BIX. Thank you.